Also News 360, now she was disowned by her father after refusing to marry his maternal uncle at age 13. She is subjected to labor to fend for herself while living on her own. Stanley Niblo reports the ordeal of little Esther, a Form 1 junior high school student at Inquanta in the Oti region. Papa na ko ware mi mami. O ko pene no na eh me anke fo no o mo si ntuno fa ni sister ba ko branso no mba fa mi mami. No ni so ni ni sister ntebe se o wun kwala o ba na ne ba na o yo ba no o mba be fa no no so no ma ko ware no na papa ji so. This is how Esther's ordeal began. Her father was anxious to give her out for marriage at a tender age of 13 in accordance with custom. Esther's family belongs to the Kokomba tribe and tradition requires a man to exchange his sister for the potential wife he wants to marry. In a situation where the man has no sister to offer, his daughter becomes an obvious choice. This is the predicament Esther finds herself. She fled home after three attempts to capture and marry her off to her 25-year-old uncle at age 13. Eventually, she was disowned by her father while the mother could not do enough to protest her husband's decision. The poor vulnerable girl, who is now 15, relocated from her parents' community to Nkwanta and enrolled herself in school. Since then, she has been laboring to fend for herself. Esther says she could no longer bear the ordeal. She is currently living with her 17-year-old namesake in a rented apartment they acquired with proceeds from their egg business. Both are going through difficult times. After school, the two teenagers sell eggs bought on credit so they could earn a living the next day. When you went and sell things, when you are back, how you you will be tired, you can't learn. So when you will be learning, then you will be feeling sleeping. So if you do not sell, to, you can't get money to do to buy what is your needs and your wants. During menstruation, they borrow sanitary parts from vendors to make themselves comfortable, and pay with profits from their egg business. Their teachers are worried about the abuse of teenage girls in the area. School authorities have formed girls' club to empower them to demand their rights in society. If you are in a certain situation whereby your mother is forcing you to be in marriage at this time of your age, you have to tell your mother no. If your mother is not understanding you, then you have to get some elderly person from your community or society where they can talk to your parents. When our girls are well informed through the club, nobody will sit somewhere to deceive these girls that uh, come for probably one city so that you do this and by the close of the day, the girl will end up falling in hands of that uh, irresponsible male adult by impregnating or forcing that girl into marriage. The landlord has prioritized the security of the girls. World Vision Ghana, as part of its core mandate, has been lending support to the girls. In Kwanta Cluster Manager Salome Yabua is confident of changing their fortunes. We've been organizing and child marriage. Our campaigns in, in the communities. We've tried to bring on board the traditional leaders who actually take greater decisions when it comes to some of these things. 
and we believe that this